Birds come in many shapes and sizes that will require separate cage needs, with ringneck parrots being one of them. Here are some things to consider when shopping around for a cage. The ringneck parrots are a medium sized bird that measures between 14 to 17 inches in length, including their body and tail. That being said, you will need to keep this in mind when purchasing a cage. The general rule is the bigger the cage, the better. However, depending on your budget or living space, this may not be possible. If this is the case, consider a cage that is at least 24 inches in width, which is the length of the cage, 24 inches in depth, which is the side of the cage, measuring from front to back, and lastly, 36 inches tall, which is the height of the cage. If your bird will be spending longer periods of time in his cage, you really should consider a much larger cage. The bar space size should also be something to really consider. If there is too much of an opening between the bars, this can be dangerous for your ringneck parrot. The bar space should be anywhere between a half to five eighth of an inch. This will avoid mishaps such as their head or wings becoming stuck in between the bars. The strength of the bars is something you may also want to consider. Ringneck parrots have a pretty strong beak and love to chew. I've come across some pretty flimsy cages that would be dangerous if a bird were to chew through and escape. The material and finish of a cage is something to also consider. Cages should be powder coated stainless steel or aluminum. Materials you should avoid are brass, copper, zinc, and lead, which is toxic to these birds. Another issue is exposed rusted parts if the coating chips away. The opening of the cage door may also be something to consider, such as the size and how it opens as well as safety. Nowadays, cages come with doors to change food and water. This will come in handy if your bird is aggressive, territorial, or fearful. Just be sure they are safe for opening and closing. When considering a cage, also keep in mind how you want to set it up. This will mean including some safe perches in different sizes and locations, as well as toys. It's best not to add too much. That way your bird will have plenty of space to move around. Consider a carry cage as well. A carry cage for your bird will come in handy for many things such as having to transport your bird somewhere like a vet visit, or simply bringing them outside for fresh air and sunlight if you are not able to bring the larger cage outside. It can also be a great starter cage if your IRN is still a baby. This can prevent injuries that a larger cage may cause and will help make your baby feel more secure, being as the cage is not too small. Some other things to consider are, will you need wheels on the cage should you need to move it or a stand? As well as include safe dish bowls for water and food. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please don't forget to leave us a big thumbs up, subscribe and turn on your notification bell for future videos. And thanks so much for watching guys. Say bye Rico. Bye for now.